Doris with all the books and I am here for the final TBR talk of 2018. Yes, we are wrapping up another year here in booktube land. I know. <gasps> anyway, I didn't even get to my TBR talk last month. November just completely got away from me so this one may be a little bit more rambling as I try to figure out what has gone on in my bookish reading life and what needs to go on in December to meet my goals. It's not looking good guys. So if you are not aware, um, one of my goals at the beginning of this year was to have my physical TBR not grow any. So that means that I have to read as many books as I buy. Or on the flip side, I shouldn't be buying more books than I read. So, how am I doing with that? Since I haven't checked in in a couple of months. Oh, got my bullet journal, got my stats here. So, in September, I ended that month five over budget so I bought five more books than I read oops and then in October um, I read four more books than I bought in addition to the previous month so we started out November um, nine books over where we needed to be yeah okay and then I acquired six more books in um, November so yes let's do that math nine and six were at 15 over budget and like I said November got away from me so I managed to read eight books in November. I came on strong the last few days, um, but I finished eight books, so doing more math, 15 minus eight is seven. So I'm starting out December, the last month of the year, the last month to get this goal met of not buying more books than I read. I'm starting out the month at seven over budget, which isn't really that bad. Usually I read into double digits, um, so I could do that, no problem. However, here in the States, we had Black Friday. Yes, we did. You know, I was on Twitter and I saw the whole um, book outlet 30% off sale, and I had to go look. Yes. Yes, I did. And I don't remember, and the box hasn't come yet, but I think, I think the number we're looking at is 12. Yes. So, I know this is a booktube channel, but one more round of math. 12 and 7 is 19. So, I need to read 19 books to break even. It's attainable. The questionable part is not bringing more books into my home in December. So, Jacqueline, don't leave me astray this month. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Let's, let's, let's get to what happened with the November TBR. So, this top shelf is where I keep my TBR for the current month. And down here, this is my physical TBR as well as a little shelf over there, but I'm not moving the camera because it took me quite a while to figure out where the lighting sweet spot was in my newly renovated little room here. So, I'm good, we're not moving the camera, but trust me, there's another shelf over there. I mean, I know you don't doubt. So anyway, this top shelf is my November 
TBR, and there's a lot left on it. Um, Nonfiction November, I had quite an ambitious no, Nonfiction November TBR, and I got five red, but I didn't get eight red. <laughs> so these were on my Nonfiction November TBR. And they're just going to have to go back on their little spot on the nonfiction shelf because that's not happening. And this one was actually left over from Victober. So not happening either. Another nonfiction there. Um, and this one I was going to buddy read with Sean, but we ended up reading a Zora. Neil Hurston biography instead. So this one's going back as well for probably February. Um, so that leaves us with the trollop that I was going to leave this on the shelf, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to put this one back because you'll see. I've got these two lovely tomes. And these were left on my TBR shelf. Started, I started them both last fall. Yeah, so like not this fall that we're just finishing, but the one before that in 2017. So I really don't want these going into the new year with me. I want them finished. And I've been saying this for months. I know this is the last month of this year that I can say it. So I'm leaving these two up here. And this one is, you know, it's not Victorian, but you know, it's that because it's Russian, but it's one of those classics. So I don't want to have two chunky classics on my TBR for December. So putting the trollop away and keeping the warm piece and the evangelicals which is nonfiction, and i'm going to finish these two this month i am going to do it so starting there and this one is also in progress thank you matthew Serapa. so i'm going to finish that in the next day or so and this one i actually grabbed out Yesterday, when I had this big idea that I might, you know, slip in another quickie, this is um, a little book, you, you can see, and it's got pictures and big margins, so I guess it's YA, um, something, to, I don't know, but anyway, nonfiction. Uh, it didn't happen, it didn't happen, but I, I'm going to keep it around because it might happen, and like I said, I need to read at least 19 books this month. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So that we got that and then I promised myself that I was just going to read randomly in December because October was boom 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 because I was doing Victober and I rocked that boat man I did it um, and then November was nonfiction November and I wanted to go boom 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 but I only went boom boom but still powered through as best I could. So I want to like be, you know, free to read whatever this month. However, Cloak and Dagger came up and, you know, Mel and Kate make it look so much fun. I think last year was the first year. And since I didn't do very well with Spookathon this year, I didn't get to all of those creepy, scary, thrillery, mystery, mysterious books that I wanted to. I decided I would jump on that boat. So, I have this stack. This is not a TBR, exactly. This is a just a suggested pile here. A pile of possibilities. Somebody mentioned that in a comment. Who did that? That was a good, I liked that. This is my pile of possibilities for Cloak and Dagger. I don't know how many I will get to. Um, I do know that this Mary Stewart will happen because that's my buddy read and um, I'm going to buddy read 
The Reckoning with Heidi and Jacqueline. So definitely those two. And um, Jacqueline really wants to read this one too. And you know, <laughs> see these are all Jacqueline's fault. Jacqueline and Robert from Barter Hordes have gushed about this one. But I mean, I want to get to all of them, but you know, the only two definites are probably these two. Anyway, so Cloak and Dagger. And then I have, um, I have this stack of recent acquisitions that I thought I would keep up here. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to keep these up here to, you know, see if I want to get to them soon. And actually, this one I'm going to buddy read with um, Kate from Kate's Book Nook and Bree from Bree Hill. So that's a definite as well. And then I think Patrice and I are going to read this one. If hers comes in this month, she's got it on order. So keep those up there. And yeah, I think that'll be fun. I'm not limited to that because down here, these are my uh, reading women challenge books that I haven't finished. So I'm going to go find that list and see what I still need to read because I may be able to fill the categories without reading these, but I may dip into those or whatever else I want to do because, you know, it's a free-for-all month. And I forgot when I was making my cloak and dagger pile, I forgot to add this one to it. So, yeah. Where's that one going to go? Golly. So, anyway... There we go. December's looking like fun. And hopefully, I can control the urge to buy books. I really want to go to McKay's used bookstore, though, on the break. Because we have a huge, like, two bags full of books to trade in. But maybe I'll be able to wait until January. Maybe. I mean, start January off on the wrong foot. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. And, you know, I'm a school teacher. So on the 21st, it's my last day of school until after the new year. So I'll have some time off to read. So I'll definitely keep you posted. But yay, that's what I've got for my TBR. I've got some ideas for next year. I'm going to continue with this because it really works for me. So anyway, Thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon because it's Vlogmas. Bye.